Whether it's texting, calling or surfing, many of us are lost without our mobile phones. And now it seems Britain's kids are following suit, with a growing number getting one when they start primary school. I feel much safer because I can communicate without using my mouth, I can just call her. So I bought her girls a mobile when they were six and seven. Usually when you don't see your, your children in front of you for, for whatever reason, there used to be that one minute, two minute panic mode where you'd be frantically looking for them. Now it's cut down to like five seconds because I reach for my phone and just call them. A new study shows 9% of children have a mobile phone by the time they're five years old. The average age is around 12. More than 40% of parents don't monitor the charges their children are racking up. And most spend around £125 on their kids' handsets. Even children as young as five are finding out in the playground if they haven't got uh, the latest and greatest smartphone or the handset that has access to the, the widest variety of apps, they might kind of fall short in, in the, uh, the playground pecking order. The dropping age of mobile owners brings its own problems, opening up an adult world of images and content. Both these handsets just make voice calls. Now Tom Sunderland's company designs handsets for children as young as four. There's no screen and there's no conventional keypad. So, for instance, you can't access the internet, you can't text, and problems like uh, inappropriate access to websites, um, sexting, uh, bullying by texting, those issues completely go away because the phone just makes calls. So with a traditional adult accessory becoming a permanent fixture in the playground, parents face the difficult balance of getting their children connected whilst sheltering them from a grown-up world. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News.